AM defense, there's a new glorious situation that they've rolled out in June. We have a new chipset. Joining us is going to be 2.17.25.506. My name is Mac, you're at the MacGyver 7 channel. We're going to be covering some fun technological news involving patch notes, some benchmarks sizing up the old driver and the new driver to see if there actually is some performance and some synchronization for the GPUs. If you're newer to the network, slam that subscription bell, get excited, and let's go ahead and get into it. Link down below will be the AMD site where you can download it directly. Very easy install for as far as it. Just go ahead and run it through and you'll be going. All the supported CPUs are listed right over here, but we should be looking at it for as far as what exactly is going to be the change. As you can see, error 1316 during the driver upgrade has been fixed. So most people that were getting a progression stop on that install should be able to continue now. Pushing forward for as far as the manual system required a non-English OS for as far as the installation completion and the Windows install pop-up message may appear during the installation and uninstalling logs may not be generated in a silent mode. These are known issues that are out there, but there's not much past that. You can see that Windows 7 definitely is knocking off a lot as you go down the list and Windows 10 is definitely all yeses. But where does that leave us with actual physical benchmarks? That's what we should be looking at. And for this testing, what we're going to be utilizing for is Time Spy Extreme. One of the cooler things that I definitely like, and we're using a basic graphics card. You can see a 1060, 6 gig, nothing special. We're mainly looking at the GPU synchronization going in tandem with the CPU. CPU is what the bread and butter is for as far as this. The newer driver is going to be on the right, and the older driver is going to be on the left. You definitely can see some performance and synchronization inside of the CPU, nothing groundbreaking, but for Time Spy Extreme, that's a little impressive, tiny bit, but not a percentage impressor. Now looking at for as far as the graphics score, now you do see it have a little bit of a reduction, but there's probably stability that runs inside of there and the known issues for the people that have not been able to install a chipset driver to get better performance. Now, this is where the interesting part came in. Taking a look at where the regular 1080p performance came into it, you saw that the CPU actually did take a little bit of a step back. Now, and by a little bit, it's basically about the same percentage as we'd be jumping up with the 4K in improvement. So they may have catered for more of the heavier and loads that a lot of people are utilizing in today's editing in order to try to smooth things over. Not a lot of people are really playing their game like crisis on a CPU unless you're, you know, LTT, you do things like that because you're, you know, you got a lot of time on your hands and you're cool. But moving on past that situation and that crazy freaking episode that I watched a long time ago, you can see that there is the graphic score increases by a tiny bit and again it's not like you're going to be gaining fps here because the percentage down below is not showing a big increasement so should you install this yes it's actually made my computer run a little bit smoother i noticed on boot up it definitely was more agile with a little bit more haste in its step when it was opening up programs and just kind of running around and again time spy extreme running on what we have 3d mark that is a basic line of where you're running it's a non-biased system that you can run against so many other things to basically see what the basic scores are going to be rather than playing a hundred games and saying like well yeah now i know this is going to work this is going to work this is the middle of the road especially for a cpu you're trying to bog it out as fast as you possibly can in order to see if their performance degradation or is there performance improvements so everyone if you are newer to this network hit the subscription bell, it's absolutely free, helps me out as a creator, and accompany it with that notification bell. That way you get all the new technological updates as they roll out through my channel on the AMD Influence, which is so much cooler. I just like, I love the way that they've come in the last like two to three years, they've stepped their game up and given a GPU company a run for their money like nvidia and then you have intel they're running towards them it's just really fun to be inside of this world nowadays but i'll see you guys and gals in the near future stay safe stay classy and i'll see you there